Hello, this is The Star Media with Mahmoud Ahmad and thank you for joining us. Please remember to subscribe. The executive and the judiciary are at loggerheads after President Uhuru Kenyatta failed to appoint the six judges. Many Kenyans are asking what is next. And today in studio with me is lawyer Frank. Thank you, Mr. Frank, for making time for us today. Thank you, thank you. All right, Lawyer Frank, allow me to take you back a little bit. Yes. Do you think the president made the right call? Let's begin right there. Um, first of all, I would like to say that uh, the president mm -hmm. is uh, a symbol of unity, mm -hmm. and uh, the president is expected to adhere to the oath of office. Mm -hmm. And that is to uh, be obedient and follow the constitution to the latter. Mm -hmm. But when he has the appointment of judges and he appoints some and leaves others out, mm -hmm. then we question mm -hmm. his, uh, his actions mm -hmm. as in regards to obedience to the constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, the constitution guides us mm -hmm. and guides everyone as mm -hmm. in regards to the appointment of uh, judges and magistrates. Mm -hmm. That is in reference to Article 166 of mm -hmm. the Constitution of Kenya, mm -hmm. which says that uh, the president shall appoint. Now, shall simply means that, uh, or rather denotes a state where, the, where uh, something must be done. Mm -hmm. It's a must. It's a must mm -hmm. be done. Mm -hmm. When the word shall is used, mm -hmm. uh, that denotes that that thing has to be done. Mm -hmm. It must be done. Mm -hmm. It's mandatory for that thing to be done. Mm -hmm. So uh, when the, constitu the Constitution says that the president shall appoint, mm -hmm. it simply means that the president must appoint. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, the article continues and says that it's the president shall appoint mm -hmm. in, or rather, uh, to, to, to just to just be clear yeah to clarify uh, it says that it says that mm -hmm. with the recommendations mm -hmm. in accordance to the recommendation in accordance with the recommendations of the judicial service commission mm -hmm. now in accordance with mm -hmm. the recommendation mm -hmm. that simply says mm -hmm. or rather means mm -hmm. that the president has nothing else to do mm -hmm. but he only needs to appoint that which he has been given by the judicial service commission mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. when the president chooses to appoint 34 judges mm -hmm. and leaves out six judges, mm -hmm. that is a contravention or a breach of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. Mm -hmm. It's a betrayal of mm -hmm. his oath. Mm -hmm. It shows that he does not have regard to the rule of law. Mm -hmm. He does not have regard to uh, the, the spirit of cons constitutionalism. Mm -hmm. He is the one person that the nation looks at mm -hmm. that who goes right ahead and violates the mm -hmm. constitution of Kenya. Mm -hmm. So, to my own conclusion, mm -hmm. it is a, a violation of the constitution of the president to leave out the six judges. All right, fair enough, uh, lawyer Frank. The president defended his decision that the six judges had integrity issues. Your take? Well, uh, I'd like to mention to you basically what happens before the Judicial Service Commission mm -hmm. presents the list of persons to be appointed as judges mm -hmm. to the president. Mm -hmm. First, mm -hmm. the Judicial Service Commission uh, puts a notice mm -hmm. uh, inviting uh, prospective mm -hmm. persons, those who wish to uh, uh, occupy the positions of judges to make applications. Mm -hmm. Or rather it can go on its own mm -hmm. to just go and select. Mm -hmm. But once the judicial service has selected those uh, said persons, mm -hmm. they write letters mm -hmm. to various offices, including the office of the president, mm -hmm. including the, the office of the, uh, the, the DPP, mm -hmm. including the office of the uh, anti-corruption, mm -hmm. the, anti, uh, the Kenya Anti-Corruption Commission. Mm -hmm. They write letters to various offices mm -hmm. Uh, doing inquiries on the conduct of mm -hmm. these said persons. So, 
-hmm. When the list has, uh, when those complaints or rather views have been brought, mm -hmm. the Judicial Service Commission will sit down, mm -hmm. they will look at them, and the said persons, if they have integrity mm -hmm. issues, mm -hmm. they will be questioned. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, once they have been questioned, mm -hmm. uh, the Judicial Service Commission, in its own wisdom, selects those who are fit for office. Mm -hmm. Now, that is one. Mm -hmm. Now, once they are selected, mm -hmm. they present the list to Parliament for mm -hmm. Parliament to approve. Mm -hmm. And once Parliament has approved, they send that list to the President to do what? To appoint. To appoint. Mm -hmm. Now, at that point, mm -hmm. the President cannot raise mm -hmm. integrity issues mm -hmm. once that list has landed on his desk. Mm -hmm. He can only do so before the list comes. He can say that such and such a person, I have these issues with them. Mm -hmm. Now, that does not lock out the president mm -hmm. from uh, uh, lodging a complaint mm -hmm. against any person mm -hmm. selected for the position of uh, magistrate or judge. Mm -hmm. But once the list has pre been presented to him, mm -hmm. at that point, mm -hmm. he has no choice other than to just do the appointment. Mm -hmm. In other words, his position, or rather his role mm -hmm. in the appointment of judges mm -hmm. and magistrate, mm -hmm. at that point is basically ceremonial. Mm -hmm. He just rubber stamps the list that he has been given by the Judicial Service Commission. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, mm -hmm. what happens, or rather what ought to be done mm -hmm. when that list has already landed in the president's office, mm -hmm. and yet he as a person, mm -hmm. he feels like something, or rather someone, mm -hmm has integrity issues. Mm -hmm. The first thing he should do is basically follow the constitution and the constitution dictates that he should appoint mm -hmm. and then look at the constitution again mm -hmm. under article 168 mm -hmm. where he gets the process of how to launch a complaint mm -hmm. against a, 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 a person who has been appointed as a magistrate or a judge mm -hmm. for basic, basic reasons as integrity issues. Mm -hmm. for, so whatever he did as he is defending his, uh, uh, his, his, his decisions his of not appointing the mm -hmm. six judges, mm -hmm. basically that, is, that will not be considered, even if it has a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of weight in it, mm -hmm. it will not be considered because it is not done in the proper way. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, thank you, Mr. Frank. Uh, both former CJs, that is CJ William Tunga and CJ David Maraga, the president's action as a disregard for the rule of law. What's yes. your take? You see, uh, when Kenyans see mm -hmm. the person leading them breaking the law, mm -hmm. that shows that uh, the person who's leading them and is breaking the law has no regards mm -hmm. for the rule of law. Mm -hmm. So we ask ourselves, mm -hmm. what does it mean for the rule of law? Mm -hmm. The rule of law means mm -hmm. You get justice mm -hmm. where you deserve. Mm -hmm. You get to do things the right way, mm -hmm. following the correct procedures, mm -hmm. and being an example mm -hmm. to the whole nation now that you are the president. Mm -hmm. But when you are not following the law, mm -hmm. then basically, I will agree with uh, former Chief Justice uh, David Maraga and mm -hmm. even William Tunga mm -hmm. that the president mm -hmm. has no regard for the rule of law because mm -hmm. he has not taken into consideration mm -hmm. the provisions of the Constitution as in regards to the appointment of judges mm -hmm. when he appoints some and leaves out some. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that's fair enough, Mr. Frank. Then, is the president a serial breaker of the law? My personal views is that uh, mm -hmm. I expect the president mm -hmm. to adhere mm -hmm. to his oath. Mm -hmm. And the oath basically says that he should defend the Constitution mm -hmm. to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now we have seen him breaking the Constitution, mm -hmm. or rather violating some provisions of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mohammed, we cannot apply the law selectively. Mm -hmm. We have to apply the law mm -hmm. holistically. Mm -hmm. In that uh, we, we cannot go to the times and days that uh, when something favors you, Mm -hmm. You applaud it, mm -hmm. but when it does not favor you, mm -hmm. you reject it. You see, that is barbaric. Mm -hmm. That is primitive. Mm -hmm. We are in an era whereby 
the constitution has to apply to every person holistically, mm. not selectively. Mm. So, the, 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 the idea that uh, the president is 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 selecting is 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 applying the the, the law to some judges mm -hmm. and disregarding others mm -hmm. that is a clear show that the president mm -hmm. is not keen mm -hmm. on protecting the constitution mm -hmm. and that makes me think that he is not the he cannot be he cannot be he cannot be entrusted with defending the constitution of mm -hmm. Kenya as at now. Uh, all right, fair enough, Mr. Frank. Uh, Mr. Frank, uh, I saw today a newspaper headline. Uh, the president said that he will not uh, accept anything. He will not swear the judges. So we are in that state. So what is next? You see, we are in a difficult mm -hmm. constitutional crisis mm -hmm. as a country. Mm -hmm because uh, we do not want to we want we want to see a state whereby the leader mm -hmm. follows and protects and defends the constitution mm -hmm. up to the last minute mm -hmm. but now we have seen a president who does not want to follow that which the constitution says mm -hmm. and i'm saying that if we allow such things to continue, mm -hmm. little by little, we will go back to the dark ages, mm -hmm. whereby the judiciary had no independence, mm -hmm. whereby the judiciary had no voice, mm -hmm. whereby things will just happen. We will go back to the, the, the ages mm -hmm. where uh, a magistrate or a judge will sit in mm -hmm. court, mm -hmm. and instead of looking at a case and applying the law, he will be looking at a case and then thinking what the president would have said, mm -hmm. will be saying mm -hmm. when he makes such a decision. Mm -hmm. And those are not good times. Mm -hmm. Those are not uh, the days that uh, we will say that we have justice. Mm -hmm. Those are the days that we will be seeing a lot of anarchy. Mm -hmm. Those are the days that we will be seeing a, lo a lot of chaos. Mm -hmm. Those are the days that the law will be lawless. The law will not have any position in our daily activities. Mm -hmm. So if we allow the president to continue doing these actions, mm -hmm. we might end up there. We might even be worse than Somali. Mm -hmm. We might even be worse than other nations who mm -hmm. do not have regard to the law. Mm -hmm. It is the constitution of Kenya mm -hmm. which binds all of us, and it is the constitution of Kenya mm -hmm. that gives life to mm -hmm. the nation itself. Mm -hmm. It is the constitution of Kenya mm -hmm. that guides us that brings us the principles that we do embrace. Mm -hmm. And if we do not follow that, mm -hmm. then we will end up being a state which has a useless state, mm -hmm. basically. All right, fair enough, uh, lawyer Frank. Uh, Mr. Frank, before we end our discussion today, uh, maybe your final thoughts? Uh, uh, your camera? For, for, for every Kenyan, mm -hmm. I want to say that uh, the constitution of Kenya is that which guides us mm -hmm. and gives us life and mm -hmm. gives us the order of the day. Mm -hmm. So if we have leaders who do not uh, uh, consider the mm -hmm. provisions of the constitution and follow them to the latter, we will end up being a state that is lifeless. Let me use that term. Mm -hmm. A state which is dead. And when we allow that to happen, mm -hmm there will be a lot of anarchy. Mm -hmm. So I will call upon mm -hmm. any uh, law-abiding citizen and in every patriot to stand up and condemn the actions of the president mm -hmm. to the strongest terms. And when we go for elections, I would like to urge Kenyans to select people who are able to protect and and, and, and follow the constitution because that is what gives us life. That is what guides us as a nation. Yes. Uh, all right, fair enough. Uh, lawyer Frank, that was Mr. Frank. And on that note, we come to the end of our discussion today. Thank you, Lawyer Frank, for making time for us here at the Star Media with Mahmoud Ahmed. 
Uh, thank you very much. And until then, remember, mother is always right.